Have you ever wondered how your body is like a powerful electrical circuit? Well, it is. And here's why. Each of the 32 trillion cells in your body generates electricity, an invisible force that is absolutely vital for your health. Now picture this. Your body is a bustling city, with each cell a power plant contributing to the city's energy supply. This energy, or electricity, isn't just sitting idle. It's actively involved in the business of life, sending signals, powering processes, and maintaining balance. However, just like a power surge can cause problems in a city's power grid, disturbances in our body's electrical field can lead to health issues. For instance, during fetal development, a slight electrical mishap can result in anomalies like an extra eye in the intestine. An unchecked electrical voltage in a cell? That can cause cancer. So you see, we are all walking power plants, generating our own electricity. Now let's delve deeper into the body's electric network, the Electrome. This is the ambitious project that has captivated researchers worldwide, a project aimed at mapping the body's intricate electrical network. This is not a task to be taken lightly. It involves understanding how each of our 32 trillion cells uses electricity and how this vast network of cells communicates with each other, all in the name of health and vitality. Imagine this, scorpion venom, a substance that usually spells danger being transformed into a potent anti-cancer agent. Sounds like a plot straight out of a science fiction novel, right? Yet this is one of the many potential outcomes of understanding our body's electrome. By comprehending how our cells' electrical voltages can become uncontrolled leading to diseases like cancer, we can begin to manipulate these voltages and create groundbreaking treatments. But the possibilities don't stop at cancer treatments. This research could revolutionize the way we approach wound healing. By harnessing the power of our body's electricity, we could potentially speed up the healing process, reducing recovery times significantly. Imagine a world where a cut heals in a matter of hours rather than days. Perhaps the most astounding potential benefit, though, is the prospect of limb regeneration. Just as a starfish can regrow a lost arm, understanding our electrome could unlock the secrets to human limb regeneration. It sounds fantastical, yet the science behind it is very real. By mapping our body's electrical network, we could learn to control and manipulate it in such a way that encourages the growth of new cells and tissues, potentially even entire limbs. The possibilities that unlocking the secrets of our body's electricity holds are nothing short of astounding. As we continue to delve deeper into the electrome, we inch closer to a future where the line between science fiction and reality continues to blur. Did you know that electricity is not just about power, but also about communication in our bodies. Let's delve a bit deeper into this. Electricity in our bodies is created through the movement of ions, which are atoms or molecules that have either lost or gained extra electrons. These ions move in and out of our cells via special pathways in the cell membrane known as ion channels. Now the concentrations of these ions are not the same inside and outside the cell, thanks to the teamwork of ion channels and ion pumps. This creates a voltage difference across the cell membrane, usually around 50 millivolts. By opening specific ion channels, selected ions can flow in or out, subtly altering this voltage difference. This change can set off a domino effect in the cell, activating or deactivating certain genes and even passing the electrical signal onto neighboring cells. Thus, our cells use electricity not only for power, but also to communicate and regulate our genes. Let's explore how cells use this electricity to communicate with each other. Imagine a bustling city with messages flowing in every direction. Now, replace that city with a single cell. An external influence, like a hormone, can cause a cell to open its doors, or ion channels, to a stream of electrically charged ions. This is akin to opening the floodgates of a dam, allowing a torrent of information to rush in. In this scenario, the hormone is like a key unlocking specific ion channels and letting positively charged ions flood into the cell. This influx of ions creates an electrical change in the cell, a signal that needs to be passed on. Some of these ions flow into the neighboring cell through special channels, relay runners passing the baton in a never-ending race. This is how cells talk, 
how they share vital information, how they coordinate their actions. Our cells are constantly chattering away, using electricity as their language.